All right, hello, hello Capricorns. This is your third message for June. If you have not uh, watched the other ones, check the description box. I will get that linked in so you can watch uh, the first video, second video. And as always, take it how it resonates. Um, I do open up the monthly energy for moon sign and rising sign as well. So you can also check out the monthlies for June for more clarification or guidance. However you feel uh, guided, right? Okay, so uh, in this particular one, number three, we're jumping into the uh, the mandala. I kept saying mandala, <laughs> but the mandala. Um, and actually, I feel really inspired now. I have a circular... Uh, I almost said a circular saw, um, no, but maybe some of you could do, but um, I have a circular uh, canvas to do a painting on, so I've, I've been like sitting there kind of contemplating it, I want to do it, <laughs> anyways, so we're pulling those uh, circles of healing, um, it's a really beautiful messages, the tarot is in the number two video, so if you want, if you haven't watched that one, jump back and listen to that a lot of actually gemini energy 615 spotlighted also maybe virgo 97 and aries 325 and of course cancerian 7373 i did see 72 as well so let's just see where we're going with this all right so take it how it resonates as always i already pulled some medicine cards as well and sacred geometry i have sacred geometry number two for the visionary path the red one okay uh, with the Francine heart and then we'll see I might get other um, animal messages or even uh, I might get angel numbers again because they're kind of sitting here but I want to start hmm, usually the circular ones are at the end so maybe I'll do that at the end let's go to the sacred geometry first let's see what's underneath the deck well the star tetrahedron now the 12 Okay, 12 being spotlighted. The first animal card was a 12 as well. 12-5 12, and 5-12. So there was also Taurusian and uh, Sagittarian energy. Um, maybe Piscean. Capricorn 1-2 or the 12th even. Um, Star Tetrahedron, I believe, does not... Uh, this is a vehicle energy. You have the Merkaba. Star Tetrahedron. Okay. Wow. So... Uh, very interesting. That's what's underneath there. I read the book with these as well, and I open up no way. And the fire keepers, the five, uh, big weird synchronicities, 12-5 or 5-12 for you guys. Um, one, two, see, three, five, five, twelve. How interesting, because I'm just saying this because as I'm looking up at your spread that's already there with the porcupine, the divine doorway, as portals even, five, five. Maybe something about that time zone or that timing happened for you um, back in May. Maybe this is past or this is giving clarification. Also, this is about changes, right, uh, in your creativity. Maybe it's about children, Leo. But there's also Sagittarian. Wow. Um, maybe Piscean. The fire keepers, because that's what I'm saying, like the fire. Um, so I brought up like some David Bowie and Labyrinth uh, and the music and dance magic but I think I forgot to say chili down with the fire gang maybe I already did the fire keepers whoa okay you can even maybe even something like this one using the colors hmm come on with the colors making it look like flames even okay I don't know I don't know I'm gonna this is interesting I'm like oh hmm. okay Capricorns, Capricorns, Capricorns for the month of June. All right, so uh, like I said, there are three separate videos. This is the third and final one uh, to get how it resonates. Maybe it's for different timings, even um, specification for different people or places. You know what I mean? Okay, um, thank you all so much. And let's begin with the sacred geometry. These ones, this one, the wheels of light. Whoa, so the wheels. Oh my gosh, so this is completely like aligning all of it. All the chakras are being aligned. It's got the spiral in it and the healing wheel, the lateralis. Um, wow, so these are really spotlighted. I showed this one before at the very end of the last one. The 888 about abundance, the 50. Wow, so big, huge changes even. The 50 card. Oh, sorry, I'm like, wow, I just... um. Okay, wheels of light, porcupine. Porcupine is also about uh, playfulness. 
One, two, three, four. Hmm. 550. <laughs> That's what I'm putting. Your first one is 505 even or 50. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. I wanted, I forgot something. It was like there was 50 cent. I know I brought up a lot of different music and some rap and stuff. And there's one that Eminem, I think it's monkey see monkey do even. <laughs> but, uh, and he talks about 50 cent. And I was, I was like maybe a 50, 50, even something. This is really interesting. I don't really know. Oh, so many fives. Okay, so you guys can have Taurus or Sagittarius or um, Leo on your on your rising sign. It's specific for some of you uh, feeling that way because I feel like also Porcupine came through with Sagittarius. Interesting enough, Bear was there as well um, in the story of Porcupine. So, all right, um, then you even have the Leonardo's the Virtuous Man and Wise Friendship. It was really about getting out into nature. Uh, getting toned back into the magnetism, even camouflaging yourself if you need be. Uh, something was out of balance, even, and there was feeling a separation, the duality, masculine, feminine, then yin, yang, right? Um, feeling separated or but you, us and them. Uh, and sometimes I totally get it. it. I mean, it's really hard to not, it's really hard to not see the separation. Uh, whoa, boo! I said, whoa, boo, look at this, 1717, diamond, mandala, mandala, okay, I'm taking it where it fell, right in the center, I was staring at this duality, 622 was spotlighted there, and you had four swords in reverse, the synergy, 617, 17, Capricorns, whoa, and yeah, 717 even with Cancer sign or 76. And then we got 53, Infinite Wisdom. Oh, beautiful. So look what type of animals we're pulling in. Um, even mermaids and the whales. Whale and the dolphin. Diving deep into the wisdom. Infinite Wisdom. Um, Wow. Wow. Um... <laughs> I am going to still set it here, but keep that in mind that that um, diving deep into this infinite wisdom, there is even 622, 53, Taurus, 88. Oh my, so 17 and 53 came out. So we've got an 88. Hmm. More 7, 8, and 7. Weird, okay. More of the 7s and 8s, 87, 87. Okay, infinite wisdom. So I already read, like I said, this uh, Mandela one here, <laughs> Mandela, and it inspired me to do something like that. And that's kind of what it even recommended your creative side, even strength, confidence, even in yourself and your abilities, and releasing and letting go of certain things. So there's some type of completion, yeah. And then it's, it's, this is a sense of, um, you know, knowing that. So the eight nine now we've got air or Leo. I'll see eight two. Eighty two. Eight eight again and eight two. How fascinating. So it was about what words come through, you know, and letting yourself flow, let your creativity. I don't know. I'm definitely gonna try something. I'm I'm probably gonna listen to like lateralis on repeat. <laughs> No, I don't know. Um, something like that. Or you could even listen to like whale sounds or dolphin. You know what I mean? Or nothing at all. And just let it flow. I'm all, you don't have to, it doesn't, you don't have to have tons. It doesn't cost tons of money. You know, you can do it with color pencils or paint or just pencil on paper. It can be just a doodle or it can be a big artwork, but I'm going to, I'm going to, okay. I'm going to, I'm going to try something here. Spiraling into love. Oh my goodness. 44. <laughs> oh my goodness. This makes me think of 44 more logic. Spiraling into love. The DNA. There's more of the stars. There's so much stars. It's like, ooh, seeing stars. Oh, there's stars over here, which is all about hope and healing. It lets a starry night. Hmm. 
Very fascinating. And then we've got the double helix. <laughs> 44. Oh, boy. Oh. Okay. No way in 27. Purification for meditation. So this one has some hearts in it. There we go. Hearts and farts. They fade. Fade away. 827. Little Virgo. 27 as well. The 989. Again. Leo. Weird. Okay. All right. I was just like, taking a little peek underneath there. All right. Uh, seeing what what might come through. I'm seeing this, even if I look at this as your full month, right? And we could do this first month or first week, uh, middle of the month. You know, clearly I don't have all four. I feel like there is four though. Um, but that shift in energy, really needing to go outside and reconnect to nature, uh, feeling like there is duality and then uns this dance with soulmates because there is this relationship energy dance through eternity or your I don't know re with relationships you gotta like being in sync like think about that if you're you're dancing and even in circles <laughs> oh boy the dance 2022 okay here we go what do we got for the Capricorns wow compassionate Pele I love how it's all going to the center uh to focus on that this do and they're feeling a separation. I debated whether and synergy upside down. Things need to be healed. 46, 41. Again, 41. Wasn't there? 4, 1, 3, 6, 4, and 4, 6. Oh, the star tetrahedron coming through with that one. So we saw that and it stayed in reverse. So I'm going to flow this through. So being compassionate, this is at the utmost importance at this point. With yourself and others. Look at the hearts. Hearts and hearts. This is, uh, you know, uh, the volcano. She's also learning compassion as well. Hmm, the goddess of the volcano. And Hawaii. Hmm. Lava. The fire. There's like Aries with that too. 522 in Gemini and 41. Beautiful. Okay, and then we got the, the 512 or the 12 again. 1225, 71273. So I'm flowing these all the way through. I don't know why I've kept this one separate with this. This is about this confidence in hidden realms and connecting. Someone's not even willing to try. Hmm. Yeah. All right. The Taurus. <laughs> 12, 10, 10, 12. All those different. So I'm going to see what they have to say here too. 5, 12, 7, 12. All right. What else do I see? 12, 7. All right. Wow. A lot of Sagittarius coming through. I wasn't anticipating. And there's that Cancerian energy. All right, Capricorns. Let's see. So as we move through this middle energy, you know, Whenever you do get this message, right, just keep this in mind, even if you're feeling very disconnected, uh, you know, been in too much worldly stuff. And it is about like getting away and getting out into nature and reconnecting. Nature's calling. I feel like that's what I'm going to be titling <laughs> the, the the other one. That was kind of what was. But even taking your time, there's something very, very, uh, you know, really taking your time doing it. Even maybe 6-1, 12-7. The 19, one nine. All right. And like I said, some of you could be Sagittarians with Capricorn or Gemini or any of these other signs. Whoa, receiving. That one flew out. Receiving something during that time, 6-4. No way, I got a lot of the Gemini energy coming through, actually, because I got 6-1 and 6-4 in the center time. Even though, so maybe um, you were feeling like you needed to receive this during that time of the month, right? Um. Because that is actually yesterday from when I'm doing this particular video. The stars again. Whoa, it's like the stars are aligned with this. The diamond. And I've, maybe you're doing it out night because the stars. This is receiving downloads of information. Do you see? Hope, healing, inspiration, healing. Stars, the DNA. This is amazing. Whoa. 
1210. Even there's camouflage, like knowing how to even, uh, wow, I don't even know. Um, These ones also came out. Let's see. I do see spirit kin and peace offering 3940. So right in flow. Huh. Hmm. It's in reverse. And I think that that's part of the thing. I'm going to read why. Spirit Kin came through for the Gemini energy. I'm also seeing 6 3 potential, potentially weird. Okay. And then 9 3 9 39. The fire energy again. Very interesting. Dancing through eternity, a peace offering. It's in reverse. And you did have like, you know, I feel like you had alignment. You had the lovers in reverse right there. So there is something about this feeling, maybe a separation. Yeah, a separation. You are them. This is sticking out. Together we fly. 60. Oh my gosh. Together. It's in reverse again, though. And we've got this grouse. As well, in sacred union, someone needing to re remember that their union is a sacred bond between them, right? There is, I feel like someone who's already celebrating triumphantly, uh, someone intuitively knows that there is this reconciliation on the horizon. Uh, there is 44, uh, <laughs> 44, um, 8, 8, again, 26. Now, together we fly. Being in reverse, though. Hmm. And the birds. Someone laid down this heavy burden. They feel a little stuck and trapped. They stop doing, like, they they stop putting the work in. I see this high priestess here, like, just, like, tuning in, trusting intuition, not saying anything. This is also keeping certain things to yourself. A secret energy. Um... Not telling everyone about this. That's that's what keeping it sacred union. You know. Okay, wow. Um that one is sticking out, so I'm gonna grab it. Anta Karana. Twenty six again. Oh, so there's another synchronicity. Knight of Pentacles, maybe someone is only twenty six. Um Knight of Pentacles is very being very patient, the slowest moving. But they wanna like <laughs> do it right right and they're creating something that's real um that's you know what i mean especially if it has to do with your love romance i'm saying giving each other space because there is like um party celebration here and with friends you know if three of cups is could be third party energy but i don't see this as something that is um anything to fear like you know what I mean? It's a, it's a celebration. We have the, whoa, we have the flower of life there too. There's so many depths to this card. Anta Karana. And being very patient with what you're receiving. Even the diamond. Huh, the diamond mandal, mandala. Like that's got to take so much pressure, right? Diamonds are always about putting the pressure on. Whoa. Okay. I don't want to get too many because these will be too long. One final one is Fruit of Life 47 in reverse. Feeling that way. Queen of Swords. Ooh. In reverse. The Fruit of Life. 7 4. So it could be Aries, Libra, uh, Cancerian energy. Could, someone could be 47, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 8, 11, 9, 11. Hmm. Hmm. The achievement is in reverse. This is even someone needing to take time away. And uh, the achievement in reverse shows that there is taking on too much. And maybe that may makes someone really angry or that flips them upside down in their energy. Pissed off. Not being able to think clearly not not things aren't fair someone's angry that things are not balanced and fair 
Uh, before I thought this was Ace. This Ace of Wands was Ace of Swords. So this is action. This is romantic, loving. Someone being very compassionate, and they're wanting passion. This is and romantic. <laughs> Oh, fruit of life. The fruit of my loins. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. This emperor and empress right here is so great. Like, uh, let's see what this one is. The mermaids. Oh my gosh, mermaids coming through. Okay. Capricorns, you pull the mermaids. Wow. Mermaid hearts. I feel like this came through with Libra. One, two, three, four, five mermaids in here. All a little different. Wait, wow. One, two, three, four, five. And the little sea turtle. It's in reverse, though. Hmm. So we'll see. Someone's holding on, maybe even to someone or someone's money. They're saving up their finances. Maybe even uh, the boss. We got emperor and empress right there, even. Um this peace offering maybe but i'm seeing four of pentacles so this is a sense of holding money saving money so someone doesn't need to work maybe even having them help with finances because they are both upright helping looking to the future even and some new beginning with someone you feel is a soulmate even though understanding that there is a little bit of deceptive energy the hermit oh. 11-7. Someone is maybe, maybe there was left or lying or something or someone keeping something on the down low. Because I do see someone, Queen of Cups, yeah. Mermaid hearts. Wow, okay. I wasn't expecting that. And then there's gratitude, oh my gosh, underneath there. And the sea turtle. Look at this. And the conch shell. And once again, 38, giving gratitude. Wow, she is too, and she has this crown. She has, they, this soulmate person, huh? Has like a crown of like a headband even, or you know what I mean? She's got flowers on her. And this soulmate, there's two here, right? And she's, she's showing love even to the sea turtles, taking things slow. Gratitude to the ocean, the sun, to uh, Mother Earth. Respect. She's wearing a lot of sea turtle stuff. She got sea turtles all over her. <laughs> Who's wearing the sea turtles? Tauruses. No, 38 though. So, could be Piscean. I also see Gemini, Scorpio. 12. 12. 212 even. Okay. Uh, even very young. This is fantastic. Okay. Confidence. Hmm. I'm going to leave that there. Yeah. Wow, we got quite a bit. Let's get started. <laughs> what are we on time? 23, 25. Okay. Here we go. Wheels of Light and it opened up to Dolphin, Marka Boss. So, wow. Um, you The hidden realms, the opening up are dolphins and mermaids and water world. <laughs> love it love it um joy happiness merkaba mer ka ba mer is spirit ka light wait other way i'm all other way i'm trying to remember the vehicle of dynamic balance there's also 43 the 13 okay Let's start with the Wheels of Light. I want to try and keep it. This one is very beautiful. Spiraling into love was there. Intimacy and communication, 105. Communication. Hmm. The DNA. Reverse says potentially you might be wrapped up in your own story or may feel misunderstood. Do your best to step out of your ego and gently speak your truth about intimacy and how you feel. What is intimacy to you? Sincerity. Do you truly listen to the people with whom you are speaking? Do you speak from the heart with respect and sincerity? Wow. Okay. 
That's a lesson in the fruit of life. Okay, since the fruit of life is in reverse, it says you lack for nothing, yet you feel a sense of scarcity. Adjust your attitude and welcome the manifestation of abundance, 111. So I find this really fascinating, Capricorns, because if I do throw your birthday out and that's that message, that card is hitting on, you know, answering. It, it says you lack for nothing, yet you feel a sense of scarcity. Adjust your attitude and welcome the manifestation of abundance. There's also 47 there. Spirit kin, infinite wisdom. So maybe Aries. Um, you could be 47. That 111 is also an angel number, right? Uh -huh. So beautifully. I also see 13, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Wow. So um, 11, 3. Wow. Okay. So there's 5. Five ones, okay? Five ones. One, 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 one. <laughs> Change. More fives. Okay. And see, someone feels like something wasn't fair. Um, regarding finances, maybe. Hmm. Or the give and take. Maybe feeling like they didn't have enough to pay even. They weren't paying all their... Or bills or something. I feel like there's not quite enough. This is really interesting. I like how this, as I'm paying attention more to the color levels coming through and the the art. Very fascinating. <clears throat> okay. The heart Taurus. Oh. So that was in the other one, but I just it's the next one. That's the intelligence of the heart. 113. Also 112. Wow. And 12, 3, 4, 5, 12, 5. 12, 5 again. Okay. Intelligence of the heart, heart of Taurus. I feel like some of you got Taurus moons, even, or Venus. Oh, Venus Taurus, or Venus Taurus. Yeah, Taurus Venus. Um, Could be an Aries, Scorpio, or Capricorn for sure. 8, 9, 12, 12, 12 5. Very interesting. Okay, the wheels of light. And green Taurus is next. So I'm turning the pages to get to this wheels of light. And that's what I'm seeing. And I want to bring that up because the Taurus, even the wheels, weird. The magnetism. Weird. Weird. <laughs> 12.05 again. So very specific even. Uh, maybe, and like I said, I'm pulling in the Sagittarius or Taurus energy for that and playfulness. So, if you're not dealing with a Taurus or a Sagittarius, Capricorn, you don't have that in your chart, then let that go, right? Acceptance and trust. What's for you, right? How can you ask for the trust of others if you do not believe in yourself? 115. Now, wheels of light. Here we go. And then healing waters. No way. Healing waters is right after it. We've got the infinite wisdom. Chakras and energy centers. It came up right 117. 5 9 again. No way. Okay. And the 12 5. Chakras are the human body's subtle rainbow energy centers. Okay. And I've got to say, the rainbows were coming through the window um, while I was doing your second video. And I spoke of that. Um, maybe there's even rainbows coming through, like different crystals or whatever, you know, uh, or through plastic or glass or somehow there's rainbows, cubic zirconium, whatever you want to call it, you know, whatever it is. It's the different cuts on the gem even or um, the mineral. But that was already coming through and it came through with Virgos too and Libras. So I'm sharing that. Understanding what the wheels of light are. The primary chakras are seven spinning vortexes of energy and light. Okay, wow, wow. And so also over there we had one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four was your angel number. You also have the five and five. So focus maybe on the one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, five. So the top two, there isn't much purple. There's a little bit here. Hmm. Creating the change. Okay. Simple attributes credited to these chakras from base to crown include one, survival and grounding sexual energy and emotions is number two. Three, willpower, 
self-confidence and laughter. Should I tell you the color with it too? Hmm. Most of you, I figure you probably already know these things, but let's just review, okay? <laughs> just in case. <laughs> okay. Simple attributes credit to these chakras. Base to crown include number one, survival and grounding. This is where you're going to get black and brown, right? Um, yeah, the browns, the, the black, the brown, your root, the grounding, okay? Uh, number two is the sexual energy and the emotions. And that's where we've got this red, the passion even, maybe a little red-orange. Uh, number three, willpower, self-confidence, and laughter. So we've got the joy, so the, can be kind of the orange. That's sacral, right? Root, sacral, solar. Okay, there we go. Number three is the solar. So that's more the yellow, the joy. Yellow and orange, I feel like, anyways. And this is the happiness, laughter, confidence. And then number four is the green, even the heart. I saw a lot of green. Pink can resonate as that as well. Uh, and that's love, intelligence, and compassion. Number five, the creativity and communication. Six, intuition, imagination. So number five is creativity and communication. I, that was throat chakra. Interesting. See, I was kind of interlinked, like, creativity as well with uh, the solar. Yeah. But self-confidence even. Okay. Number seven is union, bliss, and empathy. Six, and that's your crown, right? Uh, your sixth chakra is the third eye, intuition, imagination, and concentration. When they're spinning in balance... They vitalize the body and support physical, emotional, and mental well-being. Pulling this card reinforces your intention to balance and strengthen your energy center so that you may better engage your purpose and act in the world as a whole and healthy being of light. Envision your chakras as a rainbow column of spinning lights. Imagine each color as spinning bright and clear. Feel each rainbow vortex aiding you in your path toward wholeness. Wow. Then we've got the diamond Mandal mandala oh wow okay as i moved over there i got to antikarana which is in the same lane it's a bridge there's a bridge here higher self 69 so i brought up 69 again and 26 someone who's who is potentially 26 uh or 69 maybe gemini aquarius taurus 618 and leo the Antikarana is an ancient healing and meditation symbol that has been used in Tibet and China for thousands of years. It is the part of spiritual anatomy that connects the physical brain and the higher self. It is a bridge of light that aids in your connection to higher dimensions. It is said that the Antikarana has its own consciousness and that merely being in its presence will raise a person's vibration and assist in healing and personal evolution. Connecting with your higher self will offer insights into virtually any question or inquiry you have. The Antikarana may be seen as a direct link between your thoughts and your intuitive nature. It is the result of the interaction between matter and consciousness. Meditate with this shape, relax deeply, and give attention to your breath. Sit quietly and open to intuition and insight. Let this time act to strengthen the connection between thought and intuition. Realize the capacity for growth and healing you already possess. The answer to your inquiry will come through your ability to bridge the material world and the realm of spirit. You may wish to even make a copy of this shape and place it where your altar, your computer, your healing space, wherever you notice it. Acknowledge your connection to higher self and wisdom that is always available through that communication. Wow, and receiving the communication. Whoa, okay, what are we on time? 34, 14. You know what, guys? I thought I would have more time to finish this up. But um, something is beckoning me. So I am going to have to be giving you guys a fourth video. Because this one's going to be shorter than I anticipated. Um, and I, But I think that's okay. Like, to split this up. You know, ponder these things. Visualize it, even. You know, um, do this connection work. <laughs> and come back if you want. When you're ready to listen, you know. I mean, we all have downtime, and we're going to listen to something, whether it be some true crime crap or the news, 
music. <laughs> uh, I like listening and learning about some of this stuff, you know, instead, okay? Uh, but, and going out and listening to your high, your highest self, you know, like, to give you the best guidance. Because, you know... And ancestors, I even see being a welcome vessel. And Dian, shaman. Okay, I'm going to go to the 17. Other dimensions. Oh my goodness. 5 1 and 1 7. 86. Whirling out of the womb of the cosmos. Energy is the most basic stuff of creation. Every quirk, every quark. And molecule of humankind and of the entire multiverse consists of tiny packets of energy and light. The spirit or light body is spoken of in some ancient philosophies as the diamond soul and is believed to be the eventual course of evolution for humanity as a whole. It is multidimensional and holographic, could be pictured as your interdimensional passport. Mediate, meditate. Travel with this image to other dimensions and envision bringing forth your pure diamond light. This essence is the brilliant core of you that shines in love, compassion, fulfillment, and joy. This diamond soul is within you. The diamond soul is within you. As you bring it forward, it will put you on a path illuminated by your own inner radiance. Employ this card to journey to dimensions so brilliant that your heart bursts open in rapture. Sit in this bliss and soak up the light. Sit with your brilliance as long as you are able. Then slowly, consciously return to your physical body in the here and now. When you return from this meditation, you may need some time to integrate the light that you now contain. Ask to assimilate this energy in a holistic manner so you may make use of it in the highest best manner possible wow i see piercing the veil self-awareness and seeking wisdom as well 28 we're going to the 64 together we fly oh 137 I see dealing with Aries, Gemini, Virgo, Libra, maybe 7, 8, 10, 11, 60, uh -huh, and 11, 6, 11. Perhaps you think you have all the answers. Shed this illusion. Understand that growth and freedom may require a little guidance at times. Confer with friends and colleagues. Listen with an attitude of openness and know that when you join together, you help create a greater whole. All right. Even with the sacred union... Wow, 60 and 26, okay, and 34. How interesting. It could be a group of people in those different age ranges, even 26, 34, 60. Because you also have three of cups and 444, triumphant celebration. So there is this time to do this, right? So first you receive this. And then also, don't get overconfident in yourself. You know, that's checking your ego too and trusting that, Sometimes others can help give guidance too, uh, regardless of their age, because sometimes there's ageism, you know, uh, and it can be reversed too. Okay, receiving 64, the green and the deep blue heart woman, <gasps> heart woman, oh my gosh, shadow and grace, readiness and receptivity, wow, so this is being open. 64. This is the final card in the sacred geometry cards for the visionary path. Embedded in the background of this image is stunning geometry that appeared as a crop formation in 2003. A crop formation. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. I got some David Bowie and Starman again. The figure is charged with readiness and receptivity. Her outstretched arms and open hand chakras are expressions of trust, openness, and infinite potential. She is a lightning rod and receptor of universal information and infinite wisdom. DNA spirals appear as pillars or antennas in support of her readiness. This card celebrates the transformation that's taking place in our experience of reality and our willingness to shift from separation of duality consciousness 
to the certainty of our connectedness with all that is. Sacred geometry is one way that information and energy are entering consciousness at this time. You're gaining a greater appreciation for and are participating in the evolution of consciousness as you continue your visionary path. Allow your awareness and understanding of sacred geometry to nurture this evolution. Let this card be a signpost of your willingness to become a beacon of hope and a guiding light for those who still caught in the old paradigm of separation. Remain receptive to the message you're receiving and give thanks for your conscious participation. Wow, 1010 is a 1010 as well. 6, 4, 10, 1, 4, 5. 10, 10, a completion. All right, and with that being said, that's the center. That's the focal point. Um, I've done this right here. We're still going to come back for this infinite wisdom with the compassionate Pele. I'm going to see why spirit kin and peace offerings and even mermaid hearts are in reverse. And then I'm going to read the gratitude card and um, get those <laughs> uh, circles of healing for you guys. All right. Um, and then finish it off with some more beautiful messages from uh, the animals. I want to take a peek at the animals. Okay, you are worthy, Tabby Cat. You are worthy. Um, this came through with Gemini's too. And then we've got the Spirit Kin. 39, 6, 3, 9. 10, 9, 109. The Tabby Cat. Oh my gosh, I love that. Um, that's what's underneath there. Let's see what the Woodland Wardens has underneath. Once again, the hound and the pair and about loyalty. It was in reverse, so we'll see. So those are ones that are coming up. I already did the uh, medicine. Whoa, I see salmon in reverse. I really need to read what this is about. Because usually it's about intuition and, and returning home. Hmm. 6, 4, 49. All right. Thank you, Capricorns. I hope you have enjoyed this. Um, check the description box. I'm going to link in all the other videos. I'm going to go take a little break, do what I need to do. Hopefully, um, this beautiful message comes through for you uh, and you get this. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm, I'm if you follow it and you do this, you it's also what you feel guided to do and be open, receive. Um a sense of pure light and bliss and joy, feeling aligned, visualizing, doing all this stuff. It just, man, it's it just going to relieve so much stress that the world wants to, and fear that the world wants to pile on. All right. Thank you, Capricorns. I hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.